Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Coffee with Robert. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Um, had another person reach out to me this morning with an email about uh, he's got a uh, he was selling compost, and he uh, his supplier went out of business, and so now he actually bought compost in bulk, bagged it himself, and has been selling that and doing real well. And uh, man, what a great concept. I remember when I uh, had my um, my grocery store, I would buy a truckload of firewood, put five to seven pieces, wrap it up with saran wrap, and sell each bundle for like five bucks. I'll never forget, man, there was a guy that came in and in five days must have spent a hundred dollars, you know, and it wasn't more than about, you know, a trunk full in his car. Um, but I was making like 400% profit on these uh, bundles of firewood. Um, you know, what a phenomenal hustle to have and everything like that. So there's an idea. You can hustle firewood. Go buy a truckload, wrap up small bundles, offer it on Facebook to all your friends. Hey, I'll bring you a bundle by. Any, a bundle delivered, 10 bucks, 15 bucks, whatever it is. Um, so... You know, I appreciate y'all reaching out and telling me about your hustle. That is awesome. You know, last night I did a, a podcast with a guy named George. Um, it's George Does Real Estate. He's on Instagram and YouTube. I'll include both of his pages in um, on this video. Really nice guy. He actually quit working at the post office to start a full-time career doing real estate. Okay. And you got to understand, post office pays fairly decent, you know, and there's pretty good benefits with it and everything and a pretty pretty uh, uh, good retirement once you're through with it and everything. My uncle retired from the uh, um, post office and he's a millionaire. And um, But he also did a lot of investing and worked a lot of overtime every chance he got. And, um, you know, he kept his eye on the prize, so to speak, and everything. So... You know, and we were, one of the things we talked about is, is that it's never going to be a simple transition going from being an employee to being an owner and doing your own hustle. You know, there's a lot of safety and security, you know, if uh, something goes wrong, something gets damaged, something screws up, you know, um, I go home at five and I don't worry about it any longer, you know, and somebody else has to pay for those repercussions, not me, but once you're the boss and it's your show, then all of that money, all of that time, all that grief comes out of your pockets, your brain, and it's just a whole different ball game, so to speak. You know, and there's no, it's not like one day you just walk out and open up another door and just sit right down and boom, and now you're in business and everything. It's a transition, and uh, sometimes it can be awful rough, you know. George and I were talking about this life is not for everybody, um, and I don't have anything against people that work for somebody else. You know, my father retired from the military for 23 years, and I am so envious in the sense that, you know, because what that says is he was able to keep his mouth shut for 23 years and, uh, and be a team player. Me, I ain't so good at doing that. You know, about every three and a half, four years, I was making another job change, and, uh, you know, so... I'm not that person that's cut out to be working for somebody else. I can work with other people, okay? But, you know, and I've had a lot of people come to me and want me to get into some type of multi-level marketing, you know, Amway, Mary Kay, um, Cincy, Iron Chef, a lot of these things and everything like that. And I remember telling this one person, I said, that's not my product. Oh yeah, it is. You're your own boss. You're you're and uh, and I said no, that's not going to be my product. And he said, you know, you work your own hours. And I, and I said, look, man, I'm not trying to be rude, but it's not my name on the label, okay? And here's the thing: is is that product that you sell? If those people ever decide to go out of business, you're screwed. And he kind of looked at me and I said, you know, and this is back when I had my grocery store. It's called Discount Goods and Groceries. I said, you see this name on the top of this building? I said, that's my name. I came up with that. I paid for that sign, okay? I know for sure I'm going to be in business tomorrow. Three years, four years, I don't know, but for sure tomorrow, okay? And I don't remember the name of it, but there was this big... Um, 
I think it was a supplement or vitamin company this year that all of a sudden they decided that they were no longer going to be exclusive with their associates that they actually started selling product in brick and mortar buildings and it like really devastated the majority of the people that actually got that company to be to the point that it is somebody made that decision and then boom all these people their income is virtually wiped out because that company now sells in stores instead of people having to look to the associates to be able to obtain it me personally I don't want anybody having that kind of control over me I say all of this that if you are going to start doing your own hustle don't wait for anything to be perfect it's not get out there make the shot happen it's like you know I got over 2,000 subscribers and I'm still using an iPhone okay um, probably the next upgrade I'll do is I'll get a microphone because I hear some people say turn it up turn it up so um, you know but the thing is is that so many people want to wait till everything's going to be perfect and then before you know it one year two years 20 years has passed and things were never perfect you know it's kind of like people tell me about having children if you always wait for the perfect time it's never going to exist so my thing for you today is is what is it that you can do to get closer to starting that hustle if that's what you want to be doing have a wonderful day it's Ronald Robert with the no pay no stay network